Hey, I'm a website designer and have built hundreds of websites using Squarespace. On this channel, I share Squarespace website design and marketing tips, tutorials, and how-to videos for busy creators and entrepreneurs. So make sure to subscribe. In this video, I'll show you a few simple animations you can implement today on your website. Animation makes your website more interesting and catches people's eyes. But don't go crazy with it. Too much animation can annoy your visitors. You don't want to land on a site where everything is popping and moving from different directions. So keep it simple and your users will appreciate it. The first and the most easiest animation you can use inside the Squarespace uh, is a site loading animation. It's a built-in feature inside the Squarespace. Every time your site will upload on a screen, it will upload in, in a particular animation style. In order to access this, we want to click on this site style and then go under the animation. And here we have a, quite a few options. We can select fade, and this is basically, it's already show you how it's going to be uploading the scale, which is kind of scales up on a screen, slide up, clip, it's when it clips from the side, and the flex. Slide up is probably my favorite. And you can also adjust the speed from slow, medium, and to very fast. Now, I usually keep it at medium, but you can play with it and see what you like best. And I'm going to show you how it's going to look. If I refresh my page, you see, we see how all the images um, and elements are kind of sliding up on the page. Let's try a different one. Uh, I think like one would be the clip. Let's preview this one. Okay, we see like this is the most noticeable one and everything is just slides from one direction to the other following the page load. Okay, coming up, the next one is probably my favorite um, block and animation uh, type of style to use in Squarespace and it's a rolling block. It has been introduced not that long ago, maybe like last year. And that's basically a rolling text from one direction to the other. So let's add a blank section and click add a block and you want to find the scrolling or you can just type scrolling and this is going to pop up. We can position it anywhere we would like. And I want to click on this edited icon and let's say work with me. This is a different text. I usually like to use it for just like a forward slash or something. And the cool thing about it, you can also attach a link. So for example, we can, if it's a work with me, we want to attach to contact me page, just like that. And then we can also adjust some design. Let's start with the text style, heading or paragraph. I think for this uh, particular case, I prefer the heading. Then we also have a text style. We can make it way larger i like this one this looks good we can also adjust the direction from the le left to right or right to left this one looks good and i usually like to have a slower speed and we can also have an option to pause it on hover or fade the ages it depends what kind of look you are looking for this is the items that are currently rolling from one side to the other and we can adjust the item spacing between them so now it's expanded and I think this looks good. We can also add a background to it. I think for this particular case, I don't really want to have a background, so I'm going to remove it. <clears throat> you can also have a stroke around it and you can adjust what kind of stroke you would like. You can adjust the color and the thickness of it, the paddings and etc. You can also even blur it. Like you can blur the element like that you can blur the background behind it so if i would do the background let's add an image behind it it creates this very interesting sort of glassy effect which is also pretty cool from a modern look and now let's preview it and the third animation you can implement a square space is changing images let me show you how to implement that Instead of this images, I'm just going to add a block and I'm going to use gallery. Click on this pencil plus icon and we can upload images or search the images, which is all the images you already have uploaded to the website. This tree, for example. And now we're going to go to design and we will use the slideshow. We want to toggle off image that comes next underneath it. We don't want that for the fact that we're going for. We want to toggle off the show that Tom thumbnail over here. We don't want to show the title or description. 
And the important one, make sure that uh, we toggle on automatically transition between slides. Usually like four is good enough. We're going to position it right here. And now you see all the images are just going to be basically rotating between each other. Um, if you want to try to feature your image or maybe some products or something like that. The only thing I want to mention that it basically will adapt to wherever the size of the image is. What we want to do, click on this pencil icon and here we can crop the image. For example, four to five ratio sounds good. Save this. And we wanted to do it with every image. Um, pencil icon. Again, we're going to crop it. Looks good. And now the image is transitioning one to the other. I really like this effect. The next animation, we're going to use the same block. We added a new section and then add a block. And we want to use the same element, which is a gallery. I'm going to upload all of these images. And then under the design, instead of slideshow that we were using um, just now, we want to use carousel. This is how it looks right now, but we can also show arrows controls over here and we can scale it up, scale it down. If you click on the section and you want to edit the spacing on the top and on the bottom, what you have to do is here on this section, toggle it off. It's going to remove the spacing above and below. The next animation effect we use is to animate the section background. Let's click on this section and we're going to uh, navigate to background. And here we're going to select art. So we have different arts available for us. This is the one that kind of like all liquidish effect moving from one direction to the other. And what do we want to do? We want to uh, obviously like right now it doesn't bring it right. So we want to adjust the image, the color of it. So this is too dark for me. Go to custom and just adjust it slightly. You can see the different color moving inside, but it's as noticeable. I don't want to have such a large contrast because I don't want to take uh, the attention away from the actual text. We can also change the shape. It's adjust to smaller to larger. I think I prefer larger. You can play around. Okay, let's preview it. See how it looks. Another effect we can use for the background is just admin image. Instead of the art, now we're going to have an image. So we're going to select one of the images we already have. Oh, because it's a lighter section, we actually want to choose something dark, adjust overlay opacity, and we can also adjust the positioning of the image in the background. I'll go to image effect and select. So usually it could be undone, but we want to select this third one create a parallax effect. And we can also do different adjustments like to enlarge it and change the angle. So we want to change the start and position like that. And as we scroll, the image behind it kind of rolls. The same scrolling parallax effect could be implemented on any image. For example, this one, we just want to navigate to design in here on the image effect. This is the one we were using for the background section. We can adjust, kind of play with it. Again, adjust the parallax effect. But there's also different options. For example, th this is like an interesting one. Definitely not a good one for the image of the person, but it could be good in some different case scenario. It's a fun one. This could be implemented to any image on your website. And the next animation I'm going to show you is how to animate buttons. We do not have much flexibility with it, to be honest, but there's still something we can do without code. So we're going to click on buttons. Here on the shape, we want to select no fill and we can select any of this. But now as we hover over the button, it kind of changes the color, which creates a um, better visual effect if you want to emphasize the call to action that could be clicked. It's a good one. We can experiment with different layouts, for example, be just underline text. If we have over, also kind of like this one, then obviously we can just adjust the space in here. All right, this is all I have for now. I hope this was helpful and you can implement some of this animation to your website. Thank you.